machines. The thing is, these ones don't seem that aggressive. Should we head back east? Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! Behold! Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. Just the one! It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. Never could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key. You know how it is with small objects, big hands. Not that you know how it is exactly. I mean, your hands are dainty, of course. No, not dainty. Well forged. That's it. Korgaf. All right, I stole the box. It was supposed to go to Marsa, but I just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by. So the box rightfully belongs to your sister, and now you want to return it. What was inside that made you change your mind? Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? That is a good question. I know she was working in Chain Scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. I can ask her. Ha-ha! <laughs> Well-forced and well-connected! If I'm in the area, I will try to find your sister. At least to hear her side of the story. Okay. Well, if you see Marsha, tell her. I still remember the flying keg. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marsha. I, I should pay her a visit friend. the next time I'm in Chain Scrape. So what's new, Aloy Machine Hunter? How are the refugees doing? They keep to themselves mostly, but they have food and shelter. Some even found work around town. Good thinking giving them that Stormbird heart. I'm glad it helped. I hope they can get back on their feet. I'll keep checking up on them. Then they'll be just fine. Hey, I'm looking for an Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chain Scrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like the drunken louts around here. Why are you looking for her? I met her brother out west. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck wading into that muck. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. Petra said Porgov's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she won't be thrilled to hear from her brother. Marsa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh! The Normie? How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgif, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock, too! Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh. So he's dead, then. No. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh. Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. A jewel. Hm. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Her last wish was that I... make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her, all the family, so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. 
And look. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Portoff got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. That keg kept rolling with Porgoff still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, again! Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? As well as you can expect for someone out in the middle of the desert. You could see for yourself? Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank you for bringing me this. Here, for your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, You'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. Huh. The door's unlocked now. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. I have repurposed the displays to track Regal's activity in the region. A useful war map. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's... Personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing, if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with Old World machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. The Zenith Research Lab's right up that cliff. Hey, Catalo? I'm at the Zenith Lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith Lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. We will have to be quick about it, in case the Zeniths are watching. Understood.
the lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. Machines. We're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. That hunter killer means trouble. Battle it is. Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. The enemy did this? Hard to believe, but yeah. Enemies up ahead. I'm here. We better get a move on. The room we found Beta in is up ahead. Lead the way. Is that it down there? Yep. We better make our way down there. Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. Breathe. I think I find what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! Let's taste that respect! An outlander and a one-armed man! And we're still too much for you!
Well trained. Ah! The Xenus might send reinforcements. We need to finish up and get out of here. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Event. Might be a way out of this room. Components have to be here somewhere. Please tell me the components are in there. I should go back and give these to Katalo. Let's get this fire room out of here. Found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. They can wait until we're back at base. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the ten.
they set up a... You're back. Let us speak, then. How's it going with the arm? It is nearly complete, but I'm still adjusting the fittings. Soon, I must test it. Looking forward to it. I have to go. Keep your bow close. You're back. Good. Before we talk, I wanted to give you this. For helping me heal the land gods. Plainsong is in your debt. Thank you, Zo. You deserve much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And... yours? How'd it go with the chorus after we fixed the land gods? They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. You deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. I should go. Farewell, Aloy. An honor to greet you. She'll be back. Rest now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. They failed to report back. Akaro told me how you dropped part of the throne on Regala at the Cool Root. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. This way. For months, I watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood chalk. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. I see those hopes down. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. If we follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully... This one. I'll follow your lead. The machine has taken down recently.
Those machines couldn't have been brought down easily. There's blood. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. To knock soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down. Backups arrived! Gather round. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Another poison to contend with. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. Up this way. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. <sighs> I'll save this for a diver. All over my hands. <sighs> Just... Don't let go. You don't have to tell me twice. That's a lot of dead machines. I'm okay. Hear that? That sounds like a machine. I think I can... It hasn't seen us. First, before we do that. Go against me. All for the lowland. You're not as sneaky as you thought. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Here. There's no ammo for this. Come and get some. Oh. That's the last one. Come back! What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. Why put it here? My focus might show me more. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components. Used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? Maybe. The Rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. When a hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. To put down machines. I thought I saw some equipment on the cliffs near the falls.
Don't think I can follow you there. It's a message from an Osra. It sounds like they were helping the rebels. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. I think I know what happened. The rebels were luring machines here so they could override them. But they couldn't. I'll get them wait off. here! So they killed some with the ballista, forming the dam. Once they realized it was blocking clean water from flushing away the blood choke, they decided to stay and protect it. Spineless cowards! Poisoning us until we waste away? The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from a machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. It's not making a dent. There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. Ready when you are! This works. Hold it! <laughs> nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thorn Marsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find a Tekka. Get a good glide in. Aloy, I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> little warrior. I promised you a reward equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the Ten.
Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission, and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where. Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but... I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. I have to go now. Then do not let me keep you. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. This is where Kotalo wanted us to test out his new arm. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. This is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time. Killed more than a few of the Sky Clan. But no longer. I'm honored to help. you. Let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal. I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. Gaia, what's this room? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed, I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. And there's a lot! Aloy!
Joy. Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing. A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Of course. Before you do, is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission? Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Down. No doubt. <laughs> Alva said one of the diviners here might know where the Leviathan research facility is. Better go to the campfire and let her know I'm here. Hey, Alva? I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy, I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh... Yes, I stumbled across it, but... There was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't... Trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... That is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nerik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. 
But think of Leviathan, how it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. Not bad with that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex like I used to be. Terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. Oh, we need to find a way in. I can get data on the surrounding area. Uh, Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Take it out if we want to find that thing. goes.
We should be able to look around for that data now. That looks a little iffy to me. I might be able to kick that vent open. Through here. After you. Time for a swim. At least the water is not freezing. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old one was. It's less of a oh, climb, I bet. That looks a, Come on, a let's check the upper floors. <laughs> you okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. There, a console. Must have been what Merrick found. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here. But there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms. Over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviners spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. This is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the... I think I'll wait here for you. Please don't go too far. Aloy, you're back. We still have to find the data on Leviathan. What were you saying before, Aloy? We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead.
Yes. Don't worry about me. How are we going to get across? Well, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. Glint talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by. <laughs> Not fall off the tower. There. No more Glinthawks. I've heard our soldiers say the Glinthawks are the worst. Up this way. Uh, Aloy? Huh? Really high off the ground. You can do it, Alva, okay? Just don't look down. Right! <laughs> of course! Super easy! The tower. Should be able to cross that over. doesn't sound good. But we are going to have to jump. Uh, after you! There's some of debris for us. Should be able to make it to the other side. Made it. Okay, Alba, your turn. Right. Yeah. Aloy, can you watch me and make sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Alva makes it across before I take a look at this. You sure you're okay? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Let's keep going. Oh, door's locked. I think it needs a passcode. Let's look around. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. So the company was founded in October. Which is the 10th month of the year. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy? We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is... worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. 
They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omarambo wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher. Up. There's a ladder in that shop. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. This is a long way up. Now, how to get up higher? How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Whew. Well, that's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. Right, Alf was on the way. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I. I think these were Eileen's. Made it. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. It's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary.
This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Ape used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. Oh, that must be the Larson McCory Award. The Legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. Well, the code from downstairs doesn't work. Maybe I should take a look at those artifacts. Could use my focus here. How old was Eileen when she won this award? Forty. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth a try. You said Eileen was how old when she won this? Forty. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. What was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. That didn't do anything. I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? How old did you say Eileen was when she won this? Forty. What was the name of this thing? The H2 Flow. What was this for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. Remind me, what was this called? The Dragonfly 6. The two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan oh. is here. Let's see if the data on Leviathan well, is here. It's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and the worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors, statistics, far too easily. Homo Rambo was supposed to provide clean water, improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe the lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omaramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quen believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Uh, Leviathan... Uh, yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. 
Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. Aloy. Aloy. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alpha. I'll put it to good use. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish. Egotistical. Cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish more Quen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the Pulse Generators. May your path lead to truth. <laughs>